Hi, uh, this is a video just to prove that the water can't drain away from the garages. Matt said that uh, the grading and the drainage was proper. Here's a look at one garage. There's almost an inch uphill slope which the water can't run away and it pools inside the garage door. The next unit is even worse. There we go. We've got almost an inch and a half. Grab the first level. I'm gonna go in front of the door going into, into the property beside us. We've got an inch and a half from the asphalt to the front slab. Every time it rains, we have a lake in front. The following unit is very much the same. About an inch. We go to the third unit. It's not bad at the corner, but when you get to the middle, you have about another inch and a half. You go down to the other unit, you have about a half an inch. And they've done some, some carving of the stuff here. But there's the level on the ground. And again, the front cement slab is about an inch low. It continues down. They tried to rectify it. They've cut this out to bring it down lower. Now from the starting edge to here is lower than the front. They've, it's sinking already. They did this last year. It's already sinking in front of unit 169. They've ground it down. The water sits here in front of 169. You can see how they've built it up because the flat bed and that I don't know why they didn't take it out, but they thought it would keep the water away from the plant. So uh, it still pools. Last year, they came and they, all the way from where you see the water, there's a hill behind the silver car, which the water can't drain. He still has pooling. It hasn't been watered for a couple of days. They've, they've dug this out in here last year. They didn't take the asphalt out, they didn't pack it, and it's already breaking up. This area, you can see a shadowed area. They dug out and went down about six, about two inches, trying to create uh, a channel for the water to run in. When you get to this point here where you see it's all broken up, that's because they carved out the asphalt and now there isn't enough thickness to support the weight of the garbage truck coming around. It goes down. And we're going to go over to these other units. Another prime example of, in my opinion, shoddy workmanship. The asphalt in these units was above the cement slabs. You can see there's quite a bit. I'll put the level down here and you can see there's about an inch and a half of space here. When you look, look along here, in front of this garage, I'll put the level three feet out it's exactly level with the cement slab that's in front of unit 143 when it rains it pools up there's a great big lake in front of all these garage doors from here all the way down to the end 145 
147, 149, 151, 153, and so on and so on. They came in, they carved out all the asphalt, and they poured diesel fuel on it, and they retamped it. Every one of these has water pooling in front. Matt assumably, assumably said that he had somebody come out here and redo the grade. Again, this is in front of unit 151. That's how much space is between the asphalt pools. It's pools, we're gonna have troubles. The water can't drain away. And this is what they've done to try and fool us that they've done something. The grade is terrible. It never did drain good from day one. You can see the asphalt and it's not. They've got, they have to pretty much redo the parking lot. Every unit way across on the east side is even worse. It's sinking and we just want some answers. We're wondering if if you could please come out and help us.